Welcome to the breed section of the Base Paws Report. This section, as the name implies, is all about cat breeds, including where they came from and how your cat sample compares to those in our database. Now, this first page has a lot of great information about the domestication of the feline and species, as well as our testing process. And we'd love if you get to know both of these just a little bit better. We also include a list of current breeds in our report and expect this to change as we continue to update and add more and more breeds to the baseballs report. Now, as we move into the next page, we can really see the breakdown of your cat's sample. In this top right-hand corner, we see the genetic composition of breed groups, or how your cat, uh, which breed groups your cat's most associated with. Now, polycats are still unknown sections or sections that are associated with mixed breed cats. Uh, Western sections um, are associated with those of U.S. or European origin, like the Maine, Col Maine Coon or Ragdoll breeds. Uh, in the Eastern breeds, we have a lot of Asian-influenced breeds, such as the Oriental Short Hair uh, and the uh, Burmese cats. Exotic cats include a lot of hybrids, like Bengals and Savannah cats. And then Persians are all those that are descended from or related to Persian cats, as they have been bred distinct enough to have a very unique um, analyses there. As we look into the chromosome map itself, we can see which sections are associated with these breed groups. So as we see in Coco's section, all of these light blue are associated with these Western breed groups, showing that she's much more associated with the US or European origin cats. As we move into the next page, we now see the breed groups broken down by breed lists by specific breeds themselves. In Coco's case, with her Western breed, she's relatively closest to that of an Abyssinian. Now, all of these breeds are broken down in our appendix, and you can see which sections are associated with each breed themselves to help try and give us clues about their physical traits or personalities. Now, thank you for your time looking at the breed groups, and we'll move into the health marker section next.